We're talking with Preston Edwards, District Representative for District 3 of the City of Garland. And uh, Mr. Edwards, it just seems like it was just yesterday that you were elected uh, Council Representative for District 3, and now then uh, you're terming out. Uh, what has uh, transpired over the six years that uh, you've seen a change uh, in that period of time for Garland? Well, six years ago, the first thing that came on my plate was that uh, the Bass Pro uh, had a partial land that they wanted a uh, uh, hotel built on it. So we got with uh, Atlantic uh, Hotel Group and they started uh, working on it. And uh, we've had some ups and downs on the economy. So uh, they was not able to gain their funding when they thought they was going to. So uh, this last meeting we had, uh, I was able to approve their, their project and they'll break ground the 1st of June and December of 2014, they should have a, uh, a grand opening and be operating. Uh, we have had uh, some other stuff that came along on I-30 that uh, uh, we have been able to get in. We've got some new, uh, some new churches there that uh, is doing very well. Some of them is wanting to uh, expand already. So uh, they're, they're, they're doing very, very well. With the economic uh, downturn over the last few years, Garland seems to have uh, fared fairly well. Council seems to have done a good job and uh, staff in, in the budget uh, department has done an extremely well job on uh, keeping things pretty well balanced. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the reason why is because we've got a uh, city staff that uh, is the best that I've ever seen. Uh, they've been working with council, and the council's been working with them for uh, come up with creative ways that we can do stuff that is not going to raise the budget. Because if we raise the budget in down times of the uh, economic affairs that we have now, it's going to hurt the uh, the council. I mean, it's going to hurt the uh, uh, citizens, and that was the furthest thing from what we wanted to do. Uh, we could have done a lot more stuff if we had had a good economy, but. Uh, We've done the best we possibly can with what we've had to work with. With construction going on downtown and all the redevelopment, uh, do you feel that this is going to help in the economic development area? Uh, this is going to be very, very uh, beneficial for the economics. Uh, phase one, uh, the uh, Fifth Street Crossing has done uh, very, very well. It's 100% uh, uh, leased. Uh, the second phase now is uh, going to put uh, city property that we have uh, it's going to put uh, back on the tax rolls so we're going to be putting people down there that's going to be paying taxes uh, this is going to bring more people downtown it's going to bring more uh, restaurants and more businesses down there so this hopefully is going to stir uh, just a wider uh, economic development all over the city it's going to take a couple of years for the uh, downtown uh, development to be completed. That's almost the entire first term for these new council members coming aboard. Yes, sir. What challenges do you think they're going to be faced with? There is going to be uh, some challenges because uh, some people has pre uh, preset uh, ideas of what's going to happen, and they have not looked at what what we have looked at for the past six years, uh, it's going to be a challenge uh, on their part to keep going the way we've got it going. Uh, but that's the path that they should be taking because it has been very well thought out by the council and by the mayor, by the city staff, uh, the economic development partnership with the uh, chamber. It's going to uh, it's going to be difficult, but it can be done. But they're just going to have to keep looking at what it's going to overall, what it's going to, how it's going to affect downtown. Do you have any closing comments you'd like to make? Yes, sir. I would just like to thank the people in District 3 that voted for me the, the past three terms. Uh, I would like to uh, thank them. I'd like to thank my wife and my family because I have been away from home and Missed a lot of things, but uh, it's going to change. I'm going to get to do something that I haven't done in the past six years, and that is go fishing. But uh, 
I'd just like to thank the, uh, the people of District 3 and the City of Garland for the, uh, the support that they've given me. Uh, I have been able to help a lot of people throughout the whole city, just not my own district. So I would like to uh, thank you all for everything that uh, you all have done for me and I hope that uh, you all believe that I'm leaving the district in a better uh, than what I got it.